Hey, it's Abby, and today I thought I'd take you on a little tour of our organized home gym. Now, this project wasn't actually on our original wish list for this house, but after spending so much time at home this past year, we decided to go ahead with it, and I'm so glad we did. I hope you'll stick around to see how it turned out. When we originally organized our basement a few years ago, this little nook area had a few shelving units that held bins with Christmas supplies and other holiday decor. But since our original basement organization video, we had some friends take some of the furniture we were storing off our hands, which gave us room to move the shelves elsewhere and open up this space for some exercise equipment. We decided to paint the walls white to brighten it up a bit in here. For the flooring, we actually purchased four by six foot or stall mats from Tractor Supply so we could have a surface that was really durable but also had a little give to it. Using the horse mats was much more cost effective than the rubber flooring that is marketed specifically for gyms. And it will be a lot more durable than the little foam tiles you can find online, which would have trouble standing up to the usage that comes with free weights. I will link everything we used in our home gym space in my blog post, which you can find a link to in the description below. When we first had the idea to do this project, we weren't really sure if we were actually going to be able to find the pieces anywhere because everything had been selling out so quickly during COVID. But Donnie was really diligent about checking all of the fitness sites and eventually we were able to get all the pieces on our wish list. We keep the set of dumbbells on this side of the gym. We used to just have a bunch of random weights laying on the floor, so having a rack to corral all the different sizes has really helped to keep them neat and organized. We debated on whether or not to get a set of adjustable dumbbells to save some space and money, but we are so glad that we got a full set. They will last forever. We chose a set of rubber-coated hex dumbbells from Rep Fitness. When we ordered the set, we weren't sure if we would like the rubber-coated handles compared to the traditional metal knurled handles, but we absolutely love them and they provide so much grip. Our smaller equipment is stored in this back corner. I brought in a little basket to hold a yoga mat and a foam pad that goes around the barbell if we need it. We have all sorts of different bands, straps, and our TRX suspension trainer on this hanger from Rogue Fitness so we can grab them easily. Since the walls down here are concrete, we use concrete screws and a hammer drill to attach the hanger and other accessories to the wall. And we have medicine ball storage on this wall as well. We got these med balls from Rogue Fitness and our boys especially love using them for workouts. At first we were unsure of the best way to store the medicine balls, but then we found these storage racks from PRX Fitness and they ended up being a great solution. If I'm using my computer to track my reps and weights or to follow along with a video workout, I will throw this medicine ball on the floor for a bit and its holder is the perfect size and height to hold my laptop. Moving to the other side of the gym, we have our main rack that we use for our different barbells. Those were tricky to figure out how to store because they're pretty heavy and take up a good amount of space, but this barbell floor rack from Rogue over by the window ended up being a great way to store them vertically when they weren't in use. In our home gym, the rack is the main piece of equipment that we use for workouts. Everything revolves around using the rack, so it is really important to have it easily accessible. We went with the Monster RM4 rack from Rogue Fitness in gunmetal gray, and we are super impressed with the build quality of the rack. We have fairly low ceilings in the basement, and Rogue had an option for a shorter 90-inch rack that was perfect for our space. A rack like this is a one-time purchase and will last a lifetime, so we went for a high-quality piece from a reputable brand. The rack has a few different attachments that we can use for various exercises, including a pull-up bar, a pivoting landmine attachment, and a shackle attachment point that we can use to attach bands and our TRX system to. And then of course we have the movable J-cups to hold the barbells at whatever height we need them. We also have heavy duty safety straps that can be adjusted to any height depending on what movement we are doing like squats or bench press. To keep our plates organized by weight, we use this weight tree. It's on wheels so we can always move it around if we need to get to some of our bins and it's in the way. The plates we went with are Rogue Millspec Echo Bumper Plates. They are a mid-range bumper plate and we've been very happy with them. We have 45, 25, and 10 pound plates. They also come in 35 pound plates but we decided not to purchase any of those. We also bought five pound and two and a half pound plates from Vulcan Strength and small fractional plates from Microgains. We really like being able to add a few pounds or even a fraction of a pound to the bar to keep slowly and steadily increasing our weights. 
My treadmill is on this side of the gym as well. It's great for warm-ups or for running in the winter or on rainy days, which we get a lot of here in Pennsylvania. This little nook under the stairs ended up being the perfect size to hold all of the different sizes of plyo boxes. Our son Connor, who is 12, plays hockey, and he's the one who uses these the most right now for his training. It's easy to pull them out onto the mats and stack them in different combinations to whatever height he needs them. We found these padded plyo boxes at Titan Fitness and they were a great solution for Connor. At first he was using a wooden box and was more hesitant, but the padded boxes save your shins and take away all of that fear. We have a trap bar that we leave out all the time just because it's kind of an awkward shape and would be a pain to put back and forth on the storage rack. We ended up having an extra mat that became the perfect spot to leave out this bar while still leaving us a bunch of open space to do things like walking lunges or using the plyo boxes on the mats. We decided to get the trap bar because we are not expert lifters and it has been a little easier for us to start deadlifting compared to the straight bar. You can see right behind the trap bar, Connor still has an area for practicing his hockey shot with some fake ice and a net. We also have a little punching bag over on this side that Caleb, who is nine, likes to use. And then there's the bench, which kind of floats around in the middle wherever we need to use it. It's on wheels, so it's easy to move into the weight rack area if we wanna do bench presses, or we can have it out in the open area if we're using it for exercises with the dumbbells. Surprisingly, this is one of the trickier pieces to find. Adjustable benches were sold out everywhere when we were putting together our home gym, but we found this one from Rogue Fitness. It's very heavy and durable and maybe overkill for our needs, but we're happy with it and we use it every day. We have mirrors on each side to be able to check form, which Donnie hung with mirror clips that he bought from Home Depot and Tapcon concrete anchors. I tried not to add too many decorative touches down here at his request, but the painted frames around the mirrors are a nice little detail while still keeping the more masculine feel. So that's our home gym. It was kind of an unexpected project, but we use it daily. And I love that everybody in our family has different equipment and pieces that they use on a consistent basis. It has really become a great way to use our unfinished basement space. Thank you so much for taking the tour of our organized home gym. If you'd like to continue to see more organizing videos from our channel, please give this video a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what space would be most helpful for me to organize next. Hope you're having a great day. Happy organizing.